The Great Saxon Revolt was a civil war between 1077 and 1088 early in the history of the Holy Roman Empire led by a group of opportunistic German princes who elected as their figurehead the Duke of Swabia and anti-King Rudolf of Rheinfeld, a two-way brother-in-law of the young Henry IV, Holy Roman Emperor. It followed the Saxon Rebellion of 1073-75. to the Duke had played power politics with the young emperor several years earlier in his reign, and was demonstrably ruthless even without the support of the other princes of the Kingdom of Germany. The Allied nobility were moved to take advantage of the momentary weakness of the emperor in a period when he was at odds and had been excommunicated by Pope Gregory VII over the issue of who was entitled to appoint whom who was therefore subservient to whom, as well as a dispute over the emperor-elect's desire to divorce from his arranged wife. After meeting with the penitent Henry IV in the fall of 1076, the Pope had removed the first excommunication of the impetuous and hot-headed 26-year-old monarch. However, during the same full winter season the organizers of the revolt by the nobility were arranging for all to meet in late winter to further their own ends against the interests of the young emperor-elect. With the delays of news and events imposed by high Middle Ages travel, communications heralding the rapprochement was delayed enough that the decision was made to just go ahead and meet anyway. The diverse council of Saxon, Bavarian, and Corinthian princes met in the March 1077, about as soon as early spring travel conditions allowed in Forchheim, and despite the reconciliation between the Pope and Henry decided to press forward with their desires to expand their own powers. The group consisted of high-ranking secular rulers as well as churchmen, who had up until the very recent investiture controversy and crisis been appointed by the Holy Roman Emperor. The new canon law reforms which set up the College of Cardinals had heavily involved Pope Gregory VII. Prior to Henry's crowning at the age of six as the emperor, the emperor had been crowned by the pope, who in turn had appointed. Henry's age of inheritance had been a flashpoint leading to much discussion and controversy spurring the reform. As the elected anti-king, Rudolf hoped to achieve the greater nobility's backing by promising to respect the electoral concept of the monarchy and the pope's backing by openly declaring his willingness to be subservient to the pope as king of the Romans. Despite these difficulties, Henry's situation in Germany improved in the following years. When Rudolf was crowned at Mainz in May 1077 by one of the plotters, Siegfried I, Archbishop of Mainz, the population revolted and forced him, the Archbishop, and other nobles to flee to Saxony. Positioned there, Rudolf was geographically and then militarily deprived of his territories by Henry. After the inconclusive Battle of Melrick start and the defeat of Henry's forces in the Battle of Flesheim, Gregory VII, who'd a personal animus against the emperor-elect due to his intemperate language in earlier discourse decided to flip-flop his decision supporting Henry to instead support the revolt and launched a second anathema against Henry in March 1080, thereby supporting the anti-king Duke Rudolf of Swabia. However, the ample evidence that Gregory's actions were rooted in hate for the emperor-elect instead of theology and so had an unfavorable personal impact on the Pope's reputation and authority leading much of Germany to re-embrace Henry's cause. On 14 October 1080 the armies of the two rival kings met at the White Elster River during the Battle of Elster. In the plain of Leipzig and Henry's forces again suffered a military defeat but won the battle with a strategic outcome, the anti-king Rudolf of Swabia was mortally wounded and died the next day at nearby Merzburg, and the rebellion against Henry lost much of its momentum. Henry convoked a synod of the highest German clergy in Bamberg and Brixen. Here Henry had Pope Gregory deposed and replaced him by appointing the primate of Ravenna, Guibert, also known as Hermann of Luxembourg as their new anti-king in August of 1081, but he was fought successfully to a stalemate by Frederick I, 
Duke of Swabia, Rudolf's Henry appointed successor in Swabia who had married Henry's daughter Agnes to Germany. Henry's campaign against the Pope in Italy resulted in an accommodation and he was crowned Holy Roman Emperor by Pope Gregory VII in 1084 leaving the anti-King Hermann of Sarm in an awkward position. Hermann's plan to gather an army on the banks of the Danube and march into Italy in support of the Pope was dashed by the death of his main retainer, Otto of Nordheim. When Henry, now the crowned Holy Roman Emperor returned north and came into Saxony with an army in 1085, Hermann fled to Denmark. He returned, however, in alliance with Welfi, Duke of Bavaria, and defeated the Emperor at the Battle of Bleichfeld on the River Main, taking Würzburg. Soon after his victory, however, he tired of being a pawn in the hands of the Grandees and retired to his familial estates. The Great Saxon Revolt Civil War may have ended in 1088, for in 1089, Countess Matilda married Welf II of Bavaria, but Welfi only died in 1101.